The biggest change which is still affecting me is that I now really like women, and I didn't like women before. Women were not um, usually educated, they were not usually very vital, they were usually passive, so I thought men were cooler. I don't want to see women adopting a lot of the, I think, bad characteristics that are usually right. considered masculine, mm -hmm. such as um, aggressiveness up to the point of fighting. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that, you know, we do not want to become that way. But we are in that way. We see men become soft and women just not fight in a different way. way. They just, they just, they just do it in a different way. It isn't that they don't fight or they don't, they don't have well, the same aggressiveness or hostility. It's simply that they, they've been socialized into doing it in a, in a much more manipulative fashion. Uh, they smile at each other and, um, you know, uh, quietly think that tomorrow, uh, do I get you? If you were the secretary and you had, you know, yeah. then you're in the position of, of accepting, having to accept yeah. it yeah. continually, the deer, the honey, yeah. the bottom pinching, the, you know, it, yeah. and, and if you are a secretary, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to get tan? Yeah. I think too many women feel guilty if they're not flattered by that. They're yeah. afraid to say, hey, wait a minute, don't, don't say that. But it's not that they feel guilty, it's that if they don't get it, they feel like they're not worth a damn for right. anything. This right. is, you know, particularly when you start getting over the hill. Right. And I'm getting over the hill. You know, if I, if I put forth an effort and I'm wearing something, you know, pretty nice and I feel I'm really looking good and I go into some place with my husband and nobody looks around at me, I start feeling threatened. Yeah. Um, you know, I start thinking, oh Jesus, it yeah. really happened. You know, yeah. it happened. I'm no good. What am I going to do? And it, it's not, you know, that articulated. It's just this woe that you feel. And then, you know, you go into yourself and start analyzing it and realize that you're viewing yourself as a commodity past its prime. Uh -huh. Conscious psychiatrists, conscious are full of, uh, you know, women trying to tell them the very thing that we're talking about. And they really don't understand it for that. So you know, I mean, the psychiatrists yeah. who attribute everything to penis envy and castration complex and you don't have to look for anything else then, you know, if you can yeah. stop there. But, but, you know, is that so much worse? Is that so much worse than, than feeling that, that every place you turn and every time you open your mouth, people are, uh, are assuming that you're some sort of, of, you know, weirdo, Amazon, Robert, or castrating female that so you can't even live your own life? The, the thing I resent the most about the, the feminine stereotype, or, you know, the, the stereotypical female role is, is femininity and incompetence. I mean, if you, if you really run down what femininity is, I mean, how well his wife dresses or the fact that my wife doesn't have to work, um, serves a psychological purpose for, for the man's own self-image, as well as, as providing um, a whole untapped labor force that is not threatening to come in and take jobs away from men. Very the problem is yeah. we're in good shape, let's face it. Huh? The people, we're in relatively good shape. We know yeah, what hitting is. You know, we we know what uh, what that funny scratchy feeling is in the middle of our back. You know, we know where the knife comes from. The ones who are really, really hurting and hurting their children. And that's who we should be. With. Are 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 the are these these poor ladies who are working you know three split shifts as a waitress raising four kids. Yes. Uh, you know, for a husband who's taken a hike.